We've got some work to do. So the Guardian Farm is finished, it works. The redstone is done, all of the water streams are done, the spawning areas are done. It just, it's missing a key ingredient. See, these seven cells, they've got tridents, two each. The rest of them, however, don't, and that's an issue. You see, if they're not being killed by the tridents, they just take up the mob cap. What we really need is an infinite trident source. Imagine if you could make tridents out of bamboo. I would be able to make so many tridents. But there's only one way to get an infinite source of tridents and I think you know what's coming. As always I've got all of my materials together, packed them up in shulker boxes but now we need to actually find somewhere to build the drowned farm. Uh, or the trident farm whatever you want to call it and it needs to be somewhere that's over an ocean biome um, with not a lot of land around it and i think yeah, if i just scout around i should find somewhere relatively close to home i've actually found a shipwreck which is spawning drowned around it and that seems to be out in the middle of the ocean so with the drowns being spawned there and a mast that i can pillar up off of I'm just grabbing myself some sand just to do that pillaring up and then I can build a little staging area and then I can start working my way up to the spawning platform level. And there she blows. Alright, so all I need to do is just put a pillar of sand up off the top of this mast. Uh, I wonder if I've actually explored this one yet. I don't think that I have done much in this realm underwater really. Uh, might be something that I look at in the future. Let me just get this top bit of sand in place. And do you know what? I reckon we should go down and have a look. Let's see if we can find a chest. There might be some good. I don't even know what you get in chests that are in uh, ships like this. Is it emeralds or diamonds? Or I know you can get treasure maps, and um, I don't think you can get hearts of the sea. I think that's only. I swear there's meant to be a chest in that room. That's like the captain's quarters, isn't it? So there's a door there. Uh, okay, what's in here? Really? Pumpkins and poisonous potatoes. That's pointless. Uh, let me just check this one. My air's good. Ooh, hello. Uh, wow. Well, that's a bit disappointing, really, isn't it? Well, at the beginning of this video, I said that we had some work to do, and I meant it.
Okay, so this is a silent whisperer design for a drowned farm. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below. So I've built two of the nether portals already and I need to build four more and they kind of mirror each other. Um, and then we need to put the water in place for the drowned to spawn in. And then the idea is that the water then pushes the drowned into the nether portals which takes them to a killing chamber in the nether where we get them with a looting free sword. Easy peasy. So I've lit and broken both of these just to make sure that they are going to work. I'm pretty confident that they are going to work, so let's get on with the rest of the farm. And it wouldn't be one of my Let's Play episodes unless I forgot something and had to come back to base. In this instance, I don't have enough glass. Quick progress update, the nether portals are all in place and I've got this central divider down the middle that also has markers for where the water sources need to go. So now I just need to glass up around the outside and slab off the top. Now I've never done a live stream before but I'm seriously considering doing one just so that I can do like a resource gathering session just to put as many resources into our uh, auto sorter as possible because I keep running out of stuff every single episode. Let me know down in the comments if that's something that you might be interested in. This should be the last of the perimeter glass. And this should be the last row of slabs which are here just to stop anything from spawning on top of the nether portals. Which we can now light. Now, while this time lapse is rolling and me putting all of the water in place, I just want to say a big thank you to all of the commenters, all of the people who liked the video so far, all of the people that have subscribed to this channel. Um, I've seen a lot of activity in the last couple of days, and I'm honestly just so grateful. I never thought that you know, one of my videos has got over 600 views, which hopefully one day I'll look back on this and say, oh, 600 views, that isn't actually that much. But to me, right now, that is a lot, and I'm so grateful to everybody for, for tuning in, for checking out the series, for giving me your feedback feedback in the comments as well it's all super duper helpful um, please do carry on letting me know what you think of the series I'm really happy to make improvements and modifications based on the information that you guys give me and if you think of someone who might be interested in the series go ahead share a link with them the more views that I get the happier that I'll be obviously just to give you an idea of what you can expect in the rest of the series I've got plans for a map room to build some huge statues for a dock area a village trading hall I want to build a huge castle at some point an auto potion brewing tower that brews all the different types of potions for you um, loads of shops that I want to set up like shulker box sea lantern a scaffold shop a potion shop a mending book shop but of course if you've got any more suggestions let me know down in the comments I'm more than happy to build whatever you guys want to suggest if you want to see it let me know and I will try at least to build it but that's enough of my jibber jabber now to get back to the build So I'm just grabbing the coordinates here at this centre block and then you divide by 8 and then build the kill chamber at the equivalent coordinates in the nether. And if I've done the maths right, we should just be able to poke through this wall right here and then go out to I think minus 80 or minus 81, something like that. And ah, this could be a problem. Okay, uh, we'll block it off, block it off. I think I'm going to need some fire resistance potions. Right, let's try this again. So, with the fire resistance potion chugged, there we go. Now, I should just be able to walk through this lava without any real problems. Um, oh, sinking. It's really weird. It's not It's not like swimming in water at all. It's just, it's so slow and sluggish. It's like swimming through honey or something like that. So, all I need to do is just block off the source blocks for this lava. And this, I don't think there's any actually in this corridor. If I block those off and those off and these ones off is that it oh no there's one more up there okay i've got to be a little bit careful here because you can take damage like that by ending up in a block right let's try this again that took longer than it should have right these should be the right coordinates and that should be the never portal now completed and once it's lit if i've done the math correctly which i think that i have then all of the drowns should come out of this one nether portal and all that I need to do now is just dig down a little bit, dig a staircase down a little bit and yeah, get a kill chamber set up so that we can just swipe at them with a looting three sword. That's the collection system sorted, that should be enough storage. And that should be the killing chamber complete. Ooh, I think we have a working farm. Just thought I'd take a quick peek at the square. 
Um, I'm still not convinced that I like this water feature, but what I am thinking is either instead of the water feature or instead of this tree, we could build like a statue that holds the ender dragon so that it's not just in the middle of our lobby. I think that could be pretty cool, like a, a central feature. What do you think? Let me know. I know what we haven't built yet. We haven't built the AFK platform. I think that needs to be 24 blocks above the farm. All right, AFK platform is in place. Now we just need to wait for night time. Let's see how we do in terms of spawns. I'm hoping that they will just... Yes! <laughs> we have drowned. Okay, this is very good news. So they're all going off to the nether. Let's, uh, let's just AFK here for a bit and see how many we can get in the nether without crashing the game, preferably. Oh, look, they're spawning really quickly. I think the mob cap is five, which means that as these move off into the nether, it just clears the mob cap so quickly. Uh, this would be better if I could actually see through the floor, wouldn't it? So let me get rid of the slabs and pop in some glass instead, and then we might be able to actually see what's going on down below us. Alright, the moment of truth. Let's see how many drowned that we have got. Just take you out. Uh, that looks... Ah. Well, that's empty. So, after a bit of research, I went through the nether portals back and forth to make sure that they were linked properly. I put a leaf roof over the top of the farms that would work during the daytime as well as the nighttime. I AFK'd another night and then came back and checked and there was nothing, so I called in the cavalry. Graveyard Rose came and gave me a hand, he just stood by the nether portal in the nether and that basically kept all of the drowns loaded for me. So now that we've actually got spawns, let's kill them off and see how many tridents we get. Um, I reckon this is probably about 10 minutes worth of AFK time. Uh, and I'm going to need to figure out some way to build a portal so that I don't unload these chunks when I come through the portal. But that's not too bad. Oh, those are the ones that uh, we put in there already. These ones as well. Uh, but I mean, yeah, I mean, that's almost like a full shulker worth of tridents. And if my math is right, we've got 50 slots. No, we've got 25 slots, 25 cells. They need two tridents each, so that's 50 tridents. We've got 14 in there already, so we're looking for 36. I've made a terrible mistake. I tried to be clever and build another portal, and it linked with the portals that the drowned go through. And now the nether is crawling with drowned. More drowned than I can count, and I need to take them on. I came through the portal. I wasn't recording, unfortunately, but I came through the portal, and I got annihilated. Look how low my health is. Um, yeah, let's, let's just walk our way down this corridor. Oh my god, they're picking up items. They're not even going to despawn. There's a baby one. Jesus. Let's uh, let's see if we can just get to that portal and break it. There it is. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is when they started coming through. Oh, that was so stupid. I'm so pleased the graveyard rose at least is tucked behind behind a couple of blocks so that they didn't get to him and kill him because he's AFK at the moment. He's just here to to keep this part of the nether loaded in for me. Oh dear God. All right, well, we've got all of the tridents that we need, and this should be the last one. I'm just missing one trident, and with a quick throw, there you go. That's it. Tridents are in place. And now, if we just flick the farm on, they should start firing, and guardians should start dying. Well, that is just a sight to behold. All of that XP and all of these drops. Um, I think we can say that the farm's working. I think we can call that a success. Now the next thing that I need to do is build a storage unit for all of this. So this is the design that I've come up with, it's this minecart and hopper that goes back and forth under the ice, which picks up all of the items, feeds it into these hoppers, which hopefully goes into these chests, but I don't think this is going to handle the amount of drops that we're going to be getting from this farm. I think that the minecart with the hopper is going to fill up pretty quickly because the hoppers are all going to back up because ultimately there is a bit of a bottleneck there. So 
might need to completely redesign this. Who are you and what are you doing in my farm? Yep, that was nowhere near fast enough. So I'm going to put in this auto sorting system just here. I think five lots of chests should be enough. Um, and if I can just get that feeding from that water stream into here, then it should just sort it all out for us and we'll have as many sea lanterns as we could possibly want. Okay, that's the majority of it set up and now all we need to do is put the minecart with hopper back along the top and possibly create some sort of overflow system for the items that are going to be coming out of the end if it can't keep up. And now what should happen is as items come out of the end they'll feed through this top hopper line and end up back in the sorting system and that chest basically just acts like a bit of a buffer. But it occurs to me now that yeah, that's not going to work because I need to have powered rail at the end here which will end up locking the hopper and that's no good. So if I just pop this in place first, uh, oh, I really need to think about this. This is using so much brain power. I feel like I've been working on this project for hours. Well, I have been working on this project for hours now. Let's get rid of that and ah, that might work. Then just put the hopper underneath to feed into that one. Yes, and then I can power that end bit without locking the hopper. Awesome, fixed it. And if I just plop this minecart with hopper there, that should run back and forth. That should work. That should be it complete. I suppose it's time to test it, isn't it? So I spent some time just building up the uh, storage area just to try and make it a little bit aesthetically pleasing, but I've hit a wall with it. So I'm gonna ask for Graveyard Rose's help with that. But I just want to, I wanted to leave this running in the background while I did that so that I could just see whether or not this is gonna back up or if it's gonna be able to handle it. Now that's obviously pretty full. That's not too bad and that's empty. What about the other side? Yeah, all right, this. I would say that this is working. This is this is fine. I don't think there's much risk of that backing up. And if we just check in the chests over here, oh my frame rate has dropped. Okay, we've got fish, we've got prismarine shards, we've got prismarine crystals. Uh, okay, I can't remember what's meant to go in there. I think that's just a backup for shards, and that's a backup for crystals, and then that is the overflow chest. So, all in all, I think that's working pretty damn well. I would call that a successful episode. Not only did we build an entire drowned farm, we also got enough tridents to fill up the rest of the cells in the Guardian farm and made sure the Guardian farm was working and then built a storage system, an auto storage system to handle all of the drops that come from it. So I'm gonna put this episode in the win column. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like and if you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. But for now, I'm gonna leave it there and I'm out. See ya.